What's up, guys? Um. Fucking. <laughs> Welcome back to Story Time with Danny and friends. This week it's Matthew. All right, so this week we have a new story for you guys. It's a story about how. <laughs> well, okay, so let's just give you a little background information so we don't just say a bunch of things. Matthew and I went. Oh my gosh. He's this guy's going. These guys going against <laughs> against traffic. Okay, Matthew and I, when we were younger, we did this little um, evangelism thing called Child Evangelism Fellowship, where we go for a week out of the summer to this training in, in this place up north in Spring Florida. Water, Florida. So we'd go, and we'd be there for like a week, and we'd make friends or whatever, and it'd be super, super cool. We'd train or whatever. But we stayed on this college campus, and we'd, like, we'd sleep in the dorms because we were there for a week. And... <laughs> These dorms had like these cabinets, so they'd have like these, these like the, the long tall thing and it'd be like drawers on the bottom for your stuff and then on the inside you'd open up a little door and there's where you would put a TV or something and you'd hold their stuff or whatever and on top there's another cabinet. They were just like two per room. It was had two a, or four? It was four. It was four. It was four, it was four, was four per room. Four per room. So, Matthew had an interesting... I don't, I don't, I don't know, know what it was doing. Story. But, wait, I... There was two right next to each other. For some reason, I think there was something behind. Something got behind one of the cabinets. So anyway, I ended up going in between those two cabinets. I fell. <laughs> and when I fell, the width of the cabinet was just about half the height of my body. So when I fell, all you could see was just my legs dangling outward. <laughs> so I looked more or less so like the witch from Wizard of Oz that got a house dropped on her. So, and then all I could do was just wiggle, so you just like see half my body's just missing and you just see like a whole bunch of legs thing. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's how I guess Matthew got stuck between the two things. And I was, I was walking by and all I see is just two feet sticking out from like the shelf. It's like, it's like a shelf, you see the shelf this way, you see the shelf this way, you see his feet just like kicking. And there's another story. So the beds were bunk beds. So there was one that was like, right, like hugging the floor, and another one that was like ridiculously high up. Like it was like six or seven feet up, and the rooms were only like ten feet. I was about one to two feet away from the ceiling. So anytime you'd like try to sit up, you'd have to like either hit yourself or you'd have to be like super scrunched up just to get off the bed. And Matthew had the terrible, terrible deed of getting off the bed one time. I was lazy, so. I ended up thinking, it's like, I could I could jump from here. <laughs> and there were very few people that were actually rooming with us. So I just threw several pillows down. And I'm like, I could do this. I could literally. Lo and behold, <laughs> when I rolled off, my foot got stuck in the little mattress guard or whatnot. And so I'm just kind of like hanging from my ankle, just dangling. Make the noises. You have to make the noises. I don't know. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> so he got stuck and he's just like hanging there, like squirming, trying to get his foot undone. And he's just like, ah, ah. <laughs> he starts screaming. He's like, no. Nah. <laughs> he freaking, he's just like stuck there. <laughs> so finally, his foot gets uncaught. Like he gets, un like his foot gets like unjammed from the. From railing or whatever. It falls on his shoulders and just rolls over on his side. He's like, he looks up and he's like, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I have one more story. Matthew wasn't there for this, but I was in my dorm with my two roommates. So I'd go on a run with this friend in the morning and I left one morning and I came back, you know, go up before we had to go uh, to class or whatever. We went on this run and I came back and my roommates were like still like just getting ready. And they hadn't realized that I went out. So they thought I was still like in my bed, because I had the I had the top bed. Mine wasn't so close to the roof, so I, I could quietly get out. Freaking, I'm just walking in like it's all good, like expecting like nothing weird to happen. And my roommates go, they're like, they did like a triple take. They're like, what, what, what? And they're looking at my bed like I'm supposed to be there. I'm walking in, they're like, they stop. They just stop what they were doing, and they're just like, what? Did, where did you come from? And one of my roommates, he was like, are you Danny's brother? Like, does, does Danny have a twin? I was like, no, dude, I went on a run. 
and they were like, what the heck? How did you even get up without us noticing? They're just really heavy sleepers. We would sit there and I'd like be on the phone and they wouldn't even freaking notice that like I'm talking to someone while they're sleeping. It was really funny though because they were like, how did you get in the room or whatever? Moral of the story is, if you're in a college dorm, don't. don't there are no morals. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> There's no moral of the story. Just if you're in a college dorm, don't. If you get an offered to stay in a college dorm and you're a klutz, just don't. The Be moral smart. of the story is don't. Just don't. Cool guys, see you soon. Merry Christmas. Tip your waitresses. All that jazz. Christmas. That's just like freaking April. Good luck. I ended up squeezing myself. It's so rough! I know. I was accelerating because we have to sit on the sensor for the freaking right? <clears throat> so one bed was lower, like it'd be like. 